Hey, Royal fans! Welcome back to the channel, where we bring you the latest and greatest in all things royal. Today, we're diving into one of the hottest royal mysteries of 2024. Why did Kate Middleton leave her iconic engagement ring at home during a recent public appearance? That sapphire and diamond ring isn't just any piece of jewelry, it's a piece of royal history. So, when fans noticed it was missing from her hand, speculation started swirling fast. Some think it's a subtle message, others believe it's a practical decision, and there are even whispers about the ring being connected to deeper meanings in Kate's life right now. Whatever the reason, we've got all the theories, expert opinions, and insider info to break down for you. So, if you're curious about what's really going on, stick around for the full scoop. And before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any royal updates. Now, let's get started. Let's start with some history because this ring isn't just famous, it's iconic. When Prince William proposed to Kate Middleton back in 2010, he did so with one of the most recognizable pieces of jewelry in the world, Princess Diana's 12-carat sapphire and diamond engagement ring. This ring carries immense sentimental value, both for the royal family and for fans who admired Princess Diana. William's decision to propose with his late mother's ring wasn't just romantic, it was a way to connect Kate to Diana's legacy and keep that history alive. For years, whenever we saw Kate at public events, her engagement ring was front and center. It became as much a part of her royal image as her impeccable fashion choices. So naturally, when Kate appeared at a major event recently without the ring, royal watchers were immediately on high alert. Where was the ring? Why wasn't she wearing it? And what did it mean? Now, Kate is known for having a very intentional sense of style. Everything she wears has meaning, from her outfits to her accessories. So, the fact that she chose to leave her engagement ring behind has sparked some fascinating theories. Before we jump into the theories, let's set the scene for what was happening during Kate's appearance. This wasn't just any royal outing, this was Kate's first public appearance after her chemotherapy treatment. It was an emotional return to her royal duties, and she and Prince William visited Southport to meet with families affected by a tragic stabbing at a Taylor Swift-themed party. Three young girls lost their lives in the incident, and the royal couple was there to offer comfort and support to the grieving families. It was a heavy, emotional event, and fans were eager to see Kate back in action. But while she looked as elegant and composed as ever, something was missing, the iconic sapphire engagement ring. Instead, Kate was seen wearing just her wedding band and a few eternity bands. So, what's the story behind this decision? Could it be as simple as practicality, or is there a deeper reason behind this choice? Let's break down the possibilities. One of the most intriguing theories comes from jewelry expert Ella Citron Tompkins, who shared her insights with Diamonds Factory. According to Ella, Kate's choice to wear eternity bands instead of her engagement ring might be more than just a style decision. It could be a subtle statement about her relationship with Prince William. Eternity bands, as their name suggests, are often given to mark significant milestones in a couple's relationship. These could be anniversaries, the birth of children, or even moments of renewal and recommitment. Given the rumors that circulated earlier this year about possible tension between Kate and William, some are speculating that Kate is using these rings to quietly reassure the public and perhaps herself that her relationship with William is stronger than ever. Ella explained that the bands could symbolize Kate and William's journey together, marking their love and commitment after years of marriage and the challenges they faced as a couple in the public eye. After all, the royal couple just celebrated their 13th wedding anniversary this year, a huge milestone. What better way to celebrate that journey than by wearing eternity bands that represent their enduring love? But could there be even more to it? Some fans have wondered if this could be a way for Kate to signal that she and William are united in the face of the constant media scrutiny and rumors about their relationship. It's like she's saying, we're in this for the long haul, no matter what. What do you think? Do you think these eternity bands are a message to the public? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, not everything have to be symbolic or dramatic. Sometimes, the simplest explanation is the most likely. As Ella Citron Tompkins pointed out, 
Kate's decision to leave her engagement ring at home could have been purely practical. Think about it, her engagement ring is huge. We're talking about a 12 karat sapphire surrounded by diamonds. It's not exactly the most comfortable piece of jewelry to wear, especially during long public engagements where Kate is often shaking hands, interacting with children, and participating in events. Plus, let's not forget that the ring is incredibly valuable, not just in terms of money, but also in terms of its emotional significance. Kate may have simply decided that it's safer and more practical to leave such a precious item at home, particularly when she's attending events that require more hands-on interaction. And here's another theory. Kate's engagement ring may have needed a little TLC. It's not uncommon for high-end jewelry to require cleaning, resizing, or maintenance over time, especially if it's worn frequently. So, it's entirely possible that the ring was simply being cleaned or adjusted at the time of the Southport event. Still, even with these practical considerations in mind, the fact that Kate chose to wear eternity bands instead of her engagement ring has many royal fans convinced that there's more to the story. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Ella Citron Tompkins also suggested that the eternity bands Kate has been wearing could be more than just a practical or symbolic choice they could be a homage to an important moment in Kate and William's love story. Royal fans may remember that before William and Kate got engaged, William gave Kate a promise ring while they were still dating at university. This wasn't just any promise ring, it was a beautiful rose gold Victorian band, adorned with pearls and garnets, which represented their birthstones. It was a deeply personal gift that marked the early days of their relationship. So, could Kate's decision to wear eternity bands be a subtle nod to that promise ring from their university days? Ella seems to think so, and the idea has definitely caught the attention of royal watchers. If the eternity bands featured gemstones like sapphires or garnets, it would be the perfect homage to the ring that symbolized the beginning of their love story. It's like Kate is bringing everything full circle, connecting the past and the present in a beautifully sentimental way. Do you think there's something romantic behind Kate's choice? Let us know in the comments. One thing is for sure, whether she's wearing her engagement ring, eternity bands, or even no rings at all, Kate Middleton is a major trendsetter when it comes to royal fashion. In fact, royal fashion watchers have noticed a shift in Kate's jewelry choices over the past year. She's been seen more and more often without her engagement ring, opting instead for simpler, more understated pieces like her wedding ring and eternity bands. Fashion historian Victoria Campbell even pointed out that Kate has gone completely ring-free at several public appearances in 2024. This is a stark contrast to previous years, where her engagement ring was practically a staple of her public image. So, what does this mean for Kate's style evolution? Some experts believe that Kate is embracing a more minimalist approach to her royal wardrobe. With her role as the future queen consort growing ever more important, it makes sense that she would shift towards a more streamlined, professional look. Eternity bands and wedding rings are subtle, elegant, and practical, perfect for someone who's balancing a busy royal schedule with her responsibilities as a mother. But of course, Kate's fashion choices are never just about practicality. By switching up her jewelry game, she's also influencing global fashion trends. Jewelry designers have noted a growing demand for simpler, more classic pieces, and it's clear that Kate's preference for traditional gemstones like sapphires, garnets, and pearls is playing a big role in shaping those trends. So, what does this all mean for the future of Kate and William, as well as the royal family? Well, for starters, it shows that Kate is still very much in control of her public image. Whether she's making a statement with her jewelry or simply prioritizing comfort, she knows how to keep the world guessing. While the media will always have its theories and speculations, it's clear that Kate's relationship with William is strong and steady. Whether she's wearing a sapphire ring, eternity bands, or nothing at all, she remains a symbol of grace, poise, and resilience. In the coming years, we're likely to see Kate continue evolving in her role as the future queen consort. Her jewelry choices, like everything else in her royal life, will undoubtedly reflect that evolution. And that's a wrap on today's video. What do you think is the reason behind Kate Middleton's missing engagement ring? 
Do you think it's a practical choice, a statement of love, or something else entirely? Be sure to let us know your theories in the comments below. We love hearing from you. If you enjoyed today's royal update, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more royal news, fashion tips, and exclusive insights. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.